Welcome to Sage Audio. Today let's cover how to mix with impulse responses. But first, if you have a mix that you need to have mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. What is an impulse response? An impulse response is a recording that captures a room or piece of hardware or software's temporal and frequency response. Now it's created by taking a one sample full frequency waveform and running it through some hardware, software, or amplifying it into a room and then recording the result. This recorded result can then be loaded into a convolution plugin, which often comes free with a DAW. From there, it could be further processed. Now, they're typically used for reverb equalization and gear emulation, so let's start by taking a listen to an impulse response from a Lexicon 480L reverb unit and notice how impressively it mimics the sound. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. Using impulse responses for reverb. As we covered last chapter, impulse responses work well at mimicking reverb. Now what's great about using reverb impulse responses loaded into a convolution plugin is that the CPU usage is often lower, allowing us to use more instances of the reverb and additional effects to process the signal. So if I wanted a brighter sound, I could use this free space designer in Logic Staw and amplify the high frequencies. Or if I wanted to reverse the reverb, I could just click reverse. We'll cover some more convolution plugins in more detail in a future chapter, but for now, let's take a listen to Logic Stock Reverb Impulse Response and change the EQ. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. If you're enjoying the video, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and it helps us bring you more videos. Equalizing with impulse responses. Although a less popular way to use impulse responses, they could also emulate the frequency response of EQ units. For example, I have some impulse responses from a real pull tech unit. If we were to measure the frequency response of the output, we'll notice how the response is changed. So let's take a listen to one of these pull tech impulse responses being used. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. Vintage reverb with impulse response. One of my favorite ways to mix with impulse responses is to first use a classic reverb or an effects plugin. In this case, I'll use the SP2016 Reverb, and then I'm gonna run it into an impulse responsive tape. For the tape, I'll use an impulse response of a Studer 2 track. Now this way the reverb sounds as if it was tracked to tape. We'll make this effect more realistic in a future chapter, but for now, let's take a listen to it. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. Introduce delay with impulse response. Introducing delay with impulse responses is a little more finicky. The reason being, the taps are set in stone, so to speak. So if the delay taps are 250 milliseconds and 500 milliseconds for the left and the right channels, it's difficult to realign those or to change them to fit the tempo of the song. That said, we could shift the length and change some of the other parameters to make it more useful, but in short, delay typically isn't the best use for impulse responses. Let's take a listen. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. If you haven't already, join the Al Parliament to show your support in a community of musicians, producers, and engineers dedicated to making music. Link in the description. Shaping responses with convolution reverb. Like I was saying in Chapter 2, we could use Convolution Reverb plugins that come with our DAW and take advantage of their added processing. For example, Logic Space Designer lets me change the ADSR, the EQ, the pre-delay, reverb size and length, and the wet-dry. If I was to use Ableton's Hybrid Reverb, I could alter the pre-delay, the feedback, EQ, if the bass is mono, and more. And if I was to use Fruity Loops Convolver, I could normalize the peak, run it into more processing, stretch the response, equalize it, and more. Lastly, I could use this free M Convolution Easy plugin by Melda Audio 
to change the stereo width, normalize the impulse response, change the routing, and introduce some filters. So let's take a listen using the Space Designer and alter functions like pre-delay, reverse, and the volume envelope. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. Using impulse response plugins. Some plugin developers are using impulse responses as the primary processing in their plugins. For example, Acoustica Audio plugins use impulse responses to create equalizers and many other effects. Liquid Sonics uses impulse responses for their reverbs, then combines that with additional processing, similar to some free convolution plugins. So let's take a listen to an Acoustica Audio EQ, and keep in mind that all changes are being made with a series of impulse responses. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. If you're enjoying the channel, use the search box to watch more of our videos. Creating realistic emulations with impulse responses. So far, we've covered that impulse responses affect the timing and the frequency response. Now that means they don't affect modulation, harmonic distortion, or compression in a complex way. So let's say that I want realistic tape emulation. First, I could add in some odd harmonics. Then I'll use this pitch time shift plugin to mimic small changes to the timing and frequency caused by the tape. Then I could introduce some subtle softening compression followed by my impulse response of a studer tape machine. So let's take a listen and notice how these additional forms of processing create a very realistic emulation. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. Creating realistic tape delay with impulse responses. Following the ideas of the last chapter, let's add in one more effect. With a regular delay plugin, I'll introduce 167 milliseconds of delay. The same amount of delay introduced by tape machines when both tape heads are active at the same time. Then, I'll introduce the impulse response. As a result, we achieve very realistic tape delay, more so than most plugins. Let's take a listen to it. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. Transient impulse response reverb tip. For this last chapter, let's get creative with our reverb and add this split EQ before our impulse response reverb. Again, since impulse responses take up so little CPU, we could stack effects like this without much of an issue. Then I'll lower the tonal band of the EQ. Now this way, only my signal's transients are reverberated. This is a cool effect for drums and other percussive signals. Let's take a listen. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. You can take me with you, take me with you, go. You can take me where you wanna, take me where you wanna go. If you have a mix that you need to have mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching.